Okay, so this problem does have an initial y velocity. We have a golf ball hit an initial velocity of 50 meters per second at an angle of 10 degrees. How high did it go? How long was it in the air? And how far did it go? So believe it or not, with just that little bit of information, you can find the answers to all of those questions. But one of the very first tasks for us is we need to take that 50 meters per second that we were given and we need to break it up into its horizontal and vertical velocities because we're going to make the horizontal vertical table. And so to do that, we're going to find v naught x and we are going to find v naught y. And which trig function do we use to find v naught x? Oh yeah, it's the cosine. So we'll go v naught cosine theta and our y is going to be v naught sine theta. So we'll go ahead and we will put those into our horizontal and vertical tables. So filling in our table, v naught x is our initial velocity, 50, times the cosine of 10. And our v naught y is our initial velocity, 50, times the sine of 10. So that makes it easy to go from one to the other. And so those are actual numbers. We'll find those out. We know that our angle is 10 degrees, so that's where the 10 came from. That's about all we know right now, except, remember the acceleration was a positive or negative 9.8. Since our initial velocity was in the up direction, and acceleration works in the down direction, this time we're going to use a negative 9.8 for our time. The x here is our height. So height, this height here is our x in the y direction. How far did it go? That's the x in the x direction. So let's just work out how high did it go. So one of the pieces of information we know is up here at the very top, what's the y velocity? Oh yeah, the y velocity up there is zero. So we know that final velocity. So now we're trying to find this height. Hey, guess what? We have an equation that has those in it. We don't want the one that has time in it. So any of the ones that have time on it, we don't want those. So we're going to use v final squared equals v naught squared plus 2ax. So that initial velocity that we're going to use is our y velocity. Notice we're working on the vertical side of our table. We, so since we're working over here, we can only use this information on the vertical side of the table. We don't want to use any of our horizontal information. And once we took that initial velocity and broke it up into its x and y components, we never want to use it again. It doesn't exist anymore. We don't care. So we find out that v naught sine theta is 8.68 meters per second. So when we go 50 sine 10, you get 8.68. So we're going to put that into our equation. 0 equals 8.68 plus 2 times negative 9.8x. And we are looking for x. So we're going to solve this, and we're going to find that x equals... We're going to find out our height is 3.84 meters. So there is one of our pieces of information. So this height of the ball, the height that the ball traveled, is 3.84 meters. Okay, how long was it in the air? So now we're talking about a different point. We're talking about down here. Or we could use this zero velocity because the time to go from the beginning to the middle is half of the time, whole time. So we could keep our final velocity as zero. Let's go ahead and do that since we've already got v final y as zero here. So to find the time, now we want time. We have all kinds of equations. We don't want one of the quadratic equations. So we're going to use v final y is equal to v initial y plus at, 0 equals 
our initial y velocity was 8.68 meters per second plus a negative 9.8 t and so we solve this and we find out that t is 0.89 seconds. Now we have to be careful because our final velocity is zero. We're only here at the top. So to get the time to go the rest of the way, this time here is half of this time here. So we need to double it. So it takes 0.89 seconds to get there and another 0.89 seconds to get down. So when we double 0.89 and double it, we get that it is 1.77 seconds. So our time in the air, whole time in the air is 1.77 seconds. Okay, almost done. We wanted to know how far did the ball go. Okay, this 1.77 seconds is the time for the whole flight, so we can put it in here. 1.77 seconds. And now we can use distance equals rate times time and we're trying to find the distance. And 50 cos 10, we didn't do that yet, is 49.2 meters per second. So it's 49.2 times that 1.77 seconds. And we find out that our ball went 87 meters. That's not a great golf shot. Sorry, guys. 87 meters. All right. So we're going to have more practice. Regular physics, it's not going to get much more difficult than this. Honors, we've got some twists to throw into it. Enjoy.